Welcome back to episode 3 of Minecraft Enchanted Oasis. My name is Cupquake and I am your little nymph for today. Well, for the whole series. <laughs> so, uh, last where we left off, I showed you guys my treehouse and I was reading some comments and a lot of you guys were saying that you like the texture pack, which I really like the texture pack. This is Equanidomy again. Um, I love how lush and green it is and how wood-like and whimsical everything feels, but there's some things that I don't really like about it, like I really wanted the animals to be cuter. Um, so Red and I, my husband and myself, have been doing a little bit of editing to the texture pack. So if you guys can tell our hearts at the bottom and the experience bar is changed. So is the crosshair. And we've changed, Red has changed the skin for all the animals. So we've made their eyes look cuter and I've changed the skin for armor to make it look a little more feminine because I really hate the way that the armor looks all blocky and just we're going for something magical so actually the sun is setting I'm gonna go upstairs and I've done a little bit of work since we last saw each other um oh yeah so you guys are saying the texture pack I don't it's the texture back pack in combination with the shaders mod that I'm using it is really really dark out there so if I go to shaders and I turn it to none this is how it looks without the shaders pack but we don't get the beautiful whimsical feel and we don't get the moving um, the moving leaves like blowing in the wind we don't get the particles falling but we can see so we're still trying to figure out a solution for that I really want to use shaders I have different shaders packs here but I think the one that works the best that is the lightest is probably this one so um we also have changed the crosshair you know what this one has a really big uh blur on it uh, well this one actually has the moving trees still but it's not as intense as the normal shaders maybe i'll just switch this one to when when it's nighttime and evangel just got on so i'm gonna ah oh, i can't sleep <laughs> <laughs> Darn it! So we're gonna have to just survive through the night. I'll leave this um, shaders mod on. And oh, let me show you guys what I've done. I've done a little bit of work. We've continued over here. I'm actually going to, uh, I've opened this up so it looks more like a treehouse. Oh, and I went ahead and changed the texture of the moon. So the moon now has, um, it has moon phases. So we're gonna see like the full moon, the half moon. And I've also added an aurora to the sky, so you guys can kind of see it. So now we have a beautiful night sky, and uh, in the daytime I'll show you guys something as well that we've changed. Also, Red has updated our crosshair, the triangle with a circle in it. It's kind of magic-like. So, I've created this new little space, a new little room. Um, I think I may have some of my magic stuff up here I'm not quite sure a lot of you guys were saying that this area over here that that's our garden right now I should make that into the butterfly garden which I am so down for that so I'll make it a butterfly garden along with um, a flower garden so we won't have any wheat or anything there um, but we'll have to update that later let's go up here I'm gonna have to go and collect some sand today uh, so I made this very top area. We can really see the aurora, how beautiful it looks. Let me just go ahead and turn on the different shaders so you guys can see how cool it looks. It just, the sky looks darker. It looks a lot better. I just wish it wasn't so dark, but I mean, I guess that's how it would be if we're out in the, uh, if we're out in the forest, it'd be really, really dark, but doesn't that look so pretty? And actually this, uh, aurora, I've, I grabbed an image of an aurora and I hand painted over it. So some of these are my brush strokes that I um, painted on a tablet. So it's pretty cool. It was pretty cool. I've never really changed textures before. We're going to go back to normal shaders. Um, was it this one? Yeah. It was this one? Yes, it's that one. Um, so yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm going to make up here. I think it's pretty cool to have it open so we can see. Uh, I've gotten rid of some of those trees down there, so it's not as dark in the daytime. 
uh, and I like it a lot better. I've added some leaves and shrubs to our um, and the front on the front door. We'll have to go out and check that out. But what do you guys think I should have up here? I kind of want to have a place where I do all of my magic and stuff. Um, I've also worked a little bit on creating a teeny tiny area for our animals. So you know what? I'm gonna just go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna farm a bit. I know I, let's put some more seeds down. We really need to get our wheat going. We need to get some food. So I'm just gonna leave this here for now until we start working on the butterfly garden. We're gonna need to go collect some sand. So we're gonna go out and search for a desert. But let's go all the way down. I need to make some armor. Let's see, I have iron here. Um, I have steak, I can make some bread of this. Let's go put this stuff away. We really don't need any of this stuff right now. I found some mana beans. They fell out of the trees. So we don't really need our bucket right now. We do need some shovels. So I'm gonna take two shovels with me. I may just make another one. Um, and we don't need these uh, right now. So more mana uh, beans, it's awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna need to create some armor for myself. A spider was in here. Spiders can actually get through this. So we're gonna need to put some glass there. Let me check to see, uh, do we have any more iron that I've smelted? Here's our Vintium dust. Great, and here they're, ow! Oh! Ow! Oh, I told you the spiders can't get through. We're gonna need to make ourselves some armor and we'll get to uh, see how the armor actually looks. So what I'll do is I'll create, um, I don't wanna do it too much, but we'll create iron helmet. And if I have enough, let's see, do I have enough? Uh, no, I don't have enough leather. I didn't really kill too many cows just because I didn't want to. You know what, I should get carrots. We should uh, stock up our farm. Right down here is where our animal farm will be. Um, and I think I may have my magic area either up there, Somewhere up here near the butterfly garden. Maybe I'll extend this a little bit more. I may get rid of this pond. Maybe, we'll see. I, I might have to get rid of this tree. You guys were saying that there's a chest underneath this tree, which I believe because there's a lot of spiders that come. Oh, hi, okay, yep. There totally has to be something. I'm gonna need to eat. Let's have a, I'm gonna keep my wheat though. Let's go ahead and put our helmet on. Yay, so check it out. I uh, went ahead and edited the texture. And it's a little crown. It's so it's so cute. It's so subtle. It's not. Um, it still looks. I still look adorable. I still look like a little uh, forest uh, nymph. Oh, and also, I wanted to talk to you guys. I saw a comment uh, the first episode, and it was about what a nymph is. I wanted to just go ahead and clarify what. A nymph is. I, I think there is some misconception with it. It's um, classical mythology. So um, I think there is stories of like sea nymphs who like lure men and they never leave and they crash their boat. Those are like sirens, which are nymphs. There's different types of nymphs. So nymphs are basically um, free spirits of nature and they are found in, they're, they're maidens, so they're beautiful women, and they are found in, will this sheep follow me? Hey, come follow me. Oh, yay, okay, you guys can take a look at, um, at the sheepskin. So look, this is the one that Red edited. We got a cute little sheep face. Hey, come follow me. Oh, oh, there's a creeper over there. We didn't edit the creeper skins. Uh, yeah, so let me go ahead and continue my, uh, description of nymphs. So, um, they are beautiful maidens who live in different areas of nature, or they're found in different areas of nature. Uh, they are found in mountains, rivers, seas, wood, or uh, woodland areas. So um, there's different types of nymphs. I am more specifically a dryad. So I'm a type of nymph that lives in oak trees. And this is an oak tree. So I am a dryad. I need to get a fence gate. So let's do that before uh, before I get the sheep in there because he will escape. We have fences 
And let's get our oak wood. So yeah, um, they're basically just uh, nature deities, I guess, um, who are found in nature. Beautiful maidens who uh, just love to dance and sing. So that's the definition of a nymph. Well, that's my definition at least. Okay, so I don't, I think they're made like, no, I think it's with the sticks. It's been a while, guys. It's been a while since we've started uh, from scratch. Um, okay, so I'm going to make a couple of these so we can uh, enclose those animals. There we go. Okay, and you know what? Do I have seeds with me? Let's go collect a seed just in case we see some chickens. I have carrots. Uh, is it daytime yet? Has the sun risen? Yay, the sun has risen. Let's go ahead and change our shaders pack back because I really like this one. There we go. It just looks a lot smoother. The water looks a lot nicer. Just look at that reflection. So pretty. Um, okay, where am I going? I need seeds. Need seeds. So, uh, yeah, that is what I am. Uh, I believe the other girls in the series took a different approach on it. And I think um, some of them went with the fairy theme, uh, which is magical and cute as well. Uh, but I wanted to go with something a little different. Um, yeah, I really like the story of being, I didn't even realize, I looked into, after I saw that comment, I was like, I'm sure that nymphs aren't just, you know, there to lure men. So I looked it up, and there's so many different classifications of nymphs. Um, and it's cool, because I started making my treehouse out of oak tree, and I looked it up, and it said that the, the nymphs found in the forest and the woodland areas uh, are called dryads, and they live in oak trees, more specifically. So actually, I made this little path over here. Oh look, there's the cows. Okay, wait, I need to get some, that's what I need. We need to get our farm going. That's our goal today. And I actually have, uh, I brought my butterfly catcher with me too. So if we see any butterflies, we can totally catch them. All right, I see some cows over there. Let's go get those cows. I have got to make some more torches. Oh shoot should have put is that a baby zombie oh look he's wearing the uh, leather he's wearing the leather armor guys it's a little uh, feminine so <laughs> this zombie looks a little girly uh, but I think he looks cute adorable so that's the leather oh shoot Jesus so many monsters really need to light up this area I can't wait till we can go to Ooh, I'm gonna need food darn it I can't wait till we go to the nether I should just make some bread and save one of my... Oh, this is going to be so hard. Starting over again. I need cows. You know what I could do? Is I can uh, collect some mushrooms. I saw some mushrooms over here. I should have a little mushroom garden. I could put some mushrooms where my garden is. Uh, let's go collect some mushrooms. I'm not going to run. Because I don't want to... Uh... Oh, jeez. I'm not even going to regen. So let's do this. Let's grab this wheat. And I'm going to get this carrot. And let's go collect these mushrooms so we can make some mushroom stew out of it. And um, plant some mushrooms as well. We have both the brown and the red, which is good. Perfect. And we have a little cow here. So you guys will be able to see the skin that red edited. Hey, little cow. Let me see your cute face. Come follow me. All right, so we have found... Whoa, wait, there's another cow over here. Stay here, buddy. There is a sheep over here, too, so we're going to get this little guy. Both of you. Both of you, come hither. Come hither. Follow me. Thank you. Okay, come on. Let's go... Oh, no, there's a zombie. Come on, continue to follow. Let's kill the zombie. Oh, he's burning in the daylight. All right, come on. Come on, guys. I hate how sometimes they don't follow. Come on. I have your wheat. Come on. You, don't give me your butt. Come on, okay, come on, follow me. Follow me. I have delicious wheat for you. Perfect, we're getting two of them. Two of each. And come on. All right, so we need to find ourselves some chickens. I need to find myself some chickens because, um, and some pigs. 
so that we can get some food. <laughs> All right, so the sheep are gonna come in here. You're gonna back out. Don't come in here. Get away. I should have put the fence gate down first. <laughs> this is why I made it. Back away. Back away. Back away, cow. Back away. Yo. Okay, cool. All right, we got the sheep in there. Hey, come back here, sheepies. Come back here away from the fence. All right, so let's put this fence gate down for our cows. I'm gonna put them right here. We'll put the chickens here, and I'm gonna light up. I'm gonna light this up back here. Let's put a torch. It's super duper dark. Super dark. Okay, cows, ready? Come on, come on, cuties. Okay, one at a time. Just one at a time. Come on. No, one at, one at a time. Okay, come on. Come on. Hey! Hey! Don't you like wheat? Come on. No, no wheat. I hate it how they don't stay attracted to it. Okay, we're gonna get one cow right now. Come on, baby. Oh, we went, we're going in the wrong one anyways. Here you go. All, all the way. All right. Okay, we got one cow. Let's get this other one, and then we'll be good. We'll go get some sand. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. You're gonna talk to them like they're puppies. All right, walk straight in here. Come on. There you go. All right. Cool, we got cows. And I need to kill, where did that zombie go? Oh, he's in the area with the cows. Okay, so let's go get some sand. Oh, Vangelf has left. All right. I'm going to go over here. Oh, shoot. Well, I do need some skeleton bones. Hopefully. Oh, we got some arrows. Awesome. Okay. So we're going to go out and explore just a little bit. I won't get lost since we have our enchanted oasis marked on our mini map. Oh, Piggy. Okay, maybe we'll have to bring him back. Is there another one around here? Because if there is... Oh, you know what? Let's catch some butterflies. I really want to catch some butterflies. So, I'm really excited about uh, the butterfly mania because the butterflies are, oh, hi, 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 I caught him! I caught him, it's a dead common Mestra. So when you catch them in your net, it's kind of sad, but it's for science. The butterflies die when you catch them. Um, but you can also, catch them in, um, you can catch them in a jar. So we can make different types of jars. There's jars that have different durabilities. I'm gonna just continue to collect some mushrooms because, oh look, I should actually collect some flowers. This is from Flower Craft, different types of flowers. This is from Ars Magica. Ooh, okay, so I do know that I'm gonna need to collect. I should just, since we're out here, you know what? We're just going to start collecting some flowers. Um, I wonder. I remember seeing those flowers from Ars Magica. They're, they're pretty important. So I'm going to need to find more of those. And look what we have here. This looks like a wizard's tower. Um, I completely forgot what mod it's from. But there's supposed to be a little wizard around here. Hi, where's the wizard? I'm here for the wizard. Let's see. I'm going to catch some more butterflies. Come here, little butterfly. I'm chasing butterflies. Oh, cool. We've come across sand. And yay, we found some sugar cane. Um, OK, cool. Uh, man, I'm seeing a lot of these nodes. I can't wait till we get our thermon thermon thermometer uh, so we can, um, we can get those. Oh. I hear myself. Oh, no. No, little wisp. Stay away. <laughs> Stay away. I don't want to kill you. Okay, wait a minute. We have a little house over here already. I don't know if that's like a villager hut or a witch hut. I'm also going to change the skin of... Is that another wisp over there? Man, there's so many wisps. Um, that doesn't look like a villager. Uh, is this another wisp? Oh, Got to be careful with those. Dangerous. So I'm going to collect some... Uh, Sugar cane, so we can plant that as well, and then we can make ourselves some... Oh, I should be very careful, guys. Oh, yeah, no, okay, no, I need to go back home. This is not good. 
So we have run into a couple mobs already from the Grimori of Gai. Oh gosh. They are hard. So I cannot go up against those right now. No way, no how. We need to be very, very careful when we travel. Uh, make sure that we don't come across any of those creatures. I think those are probably level... Oh no! A harpy! Oh crap! She's bad too! Those are hard. <laughs> those are really hard. We cannot uh, shoot. No, no, no. Nope, we're leaving. I didn't mean to... Oh my gosh, her freaking... She can... Oh no, she's gonna kill me. No. I need to leave. I need to go back home. How far does she chase me? Does she chase me outside of... Okay, let's do this. Piggy! Piggy, come! The sun is setting anyways. We need to leave. Come on. Come on. There's another piggy over here. Let's grab him. Sun is setting and... Um, my health is... Or my hunger bar is running low. Oh, look. Here's another one of those. Okay, let's find our way back. I probably should have lit up the way so that we could find the little area that I made. Whoa, what happened here? Oh, oh gosh, it went so dark. Let's change our shaders. There we go. My gosh, that is ridiculous how dark it gets. Okay, piggies, come on. There's no time to wait. We must go, move hastily, quickly. Quickly, my little ones. No, I'm leaving you. I am leaving you. It's so dark down here. It's not safe. It is not safe. All right. We'll have to go back and get them. You know what? Vengelf has left the server, so let's go home and sleep. I will eat some food. Oh, here it is. This is perfect. I need to make little uh, stairs right here so that it's easier for us to climb. Okay, I hear skeletons, monsters behind me. We're getting a little lag. I think it's because... Uh, the sun is setting, moon's rising, different textures are loading. Okay, we're home. I need to go to sleep. I need to sleep and... Um, ooh, yeah, monsters. Oh, no. We need to eat something. Let's see if our wheat hasn't grown at all. Oh, no, little spider, get away. Get away. Leave me alone. I should totally get rid of that tree. They're coming from the tree. Right. I need to collect a lot more sand. I may do it off camera. But I did want to go out and explore a little bit. Oh, there's a little spidey. Hey, get out of here. I'm going to chop your tree down. I'm going to chop it down. We're chopping this down. We're chopping this down with an iron axe. Well, let's go ahead and change our shaders. I don't want to have to continue to change the shaders every time we do this. I should go kill some cows and cook up some food. We should totally do that. Uh, I, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to kill him. I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and chop this tree down. Spiders are just spawning crazily from here. You guys were saying there's a chest under here, so let's see. So uh, since we have a iron pickaxe, this should knock the whole tree down. And this thing is wigging out. Boom. Oh, there it is. Hello. What if I put uh, some torches right next to it? I don't want to kill it because what if... What if I want to um, farm some spiders? So I'm going to keep that there. Yes, perfect. We already have a spider spawner. Hooray. Okay, so I really need to get myself some food. I can make some mushroom stew. That's what we can do. I have an apple. Um, okay, so we have wood. Wow, we got a lot of wood. I love having the timber mod just because you get wood so easily. And we have a dead common Mestra. So I'm actually going to make an item frame for him. What? No. I need to... <laughs> I really need to work on this. I'll work on this off camera. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and click on this. We're going to press G. See, we can put him in a trophy. Trophy frame. We can actually change the color of the trophy frame by changing the item. So you can use iron ingots and lapis lazul. Um, so... Let me go ahead and make some mushroom stew. Zombies at my door. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right. Zombies at my door. Ah! This uh, shaders, it's crazy. The shaders have different, um, like, uh, depth of field on some of them. See, this one is intense depth of field. That's way too 
crazy. You can also adjust it right here and change it to your liking. It's pretty cool. Um, okay, so making some mushroom stew. Gotta survive. We're making a bowl, and I don't even know how much health mushroom stew gives us, but I'm gonna make a few of them. They don't stack, which is not good. Okay, I hope, hopefully, that will be able to feed me. No, get away! No! Eating. Oh, awesome. That gives us a lot of health, actually. Yum! I just wish they stacked. That's a bummer. The bowl stack. No, go away! No one's home! Okay. So, I'm gonna actually make myself a chest. We're gonna make a chest for the kitchen. I wonder if I have the display items. Um, the item... Not the display things, they're, um... I forgot what they're called. But it's a cool way to display your stuff. I usually have it in all of my play Let's Plays. Um, but I'm not sure if I have it in this one. I'll have to double check. I need to kill this guy. Come on, move out of the way. Get out of here. Give me that experience. Okay. So, let's put a chest down here. This will be for the kitchen. And I'm gonna put my mushroom stew in here. We're gonna put our bowls. I'm also gonna put my mushrooms in there. And I have more mushrooms here. Uh, I need to get a mushroom farm. I really wish I can cook this rotten flesh. Okay, so let's just go ahead and quickly make a item frame. We're coming to the end pretty pretty soon here. It's, oh wait, is it eight? That perfect. Hooray! We have our first trophy case. Oh, come on. Where do I want to display this butterfly? Let's see. I'm gonna put it in my room. Let's go put it in my room. We're gonna put the displays all around. Wait a minute. Hey! My cows escaped! I dang it! I didn't say that little. They jumped on out. They're like, can't contain me. We're out of here. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in my room. We'll have a nice little display. Is there a butterfly in here? Ah! Oh, I wanna catch some more butterflies. I really want to catch some more. You know what? There's really nowhere for me to put this in here. I don't have walls. I completely forgot. What can I put it on this? Yay! I can! Okay, but I don't like it there. Let's get that. Let's get it down. I could put it on the leaves, which is good. We can put it on the leaves in the hallways. Um, I can just put it... I want it to be on the inside. I want to have a bunch of butterflies all along the inside of my house. I need to get my stupid cows back let's see maybe we can put it along the staircase let's put one right there it's gonna be so cute i could put another one down right here and right there and put them all along the wall all right so you know what before i end uh i'm gonna go attempt to i'm gonna take a mushroom stew with me because i'm gonna get hungry i'm gonna attempt to go get some more sand Hopefully, I don't run into that harpy woman again. We'll get the cows later. Uh, we'll get the pigs later. I'll have to fix that. <laughs> Look at you, you little jerk. Uh, let's go collect some more sand. And you know what I need to find as well in the desert areas? I should have... Oh, I'm going to catch some more butterflies, too. Ha, 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 ha. I got him. Yes. Dead small tortoise shell. Perfect. So actually, once we collect enough butterflies, um, the common ones, no, ah, get over here. Catching some butterflies. Did I catch them? I didn't catch them. Oh, come back. Once we catch the uh, certain amount of butterflies, the common ones, um, we can actually make an encyclopedia and start to learn more about the butterflies and what, um, where they spawn. Oh, look, guys, this is the other thing I was talking about. I also created a right. Oh, it disappeared. Dang it. Well, if you were able to catch it, I created a rainbow. So uh, we have a rainbow in our world. Oh, this is a dryad. This is a dryad, guys, from Grimori of Gaia. She is not hostile. This is my sister. My dryad sister. Hello. Come live it. Come live near my house. I wonder if there's more around her. So you can tell she has a lot of hearts. She's still really hard to kill. And I don't know what her attack damage is, but um, she can kill me. 
Totally. Um, so I'm not gonna attack her. We're just walking around, Dryad Sisters. Uh, you know what? No, we're going, we're leaving. Oh, there's another one over there. We have another Dryad Sister. Okay, Spidey, back it up. I'm going back home. Um, let me just kill this guy so I'm not in a rush. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right, we got some an eyeball. So many flowers, so many things for us to collect. I got another butterfly that we can add, and you know what? Oh, there's one right there. Let's go catch him. Blah, blah, blah. No! I missed him! Get over here! Come back! Come back! I'm sorry, it's for science! I'm gonna kill you for science! Did I get him? I think I got him. Hooray! A red admiral. Admiral. So it's not, that's not even a common one. Cool. Oh my gosh. I'm already having so much fun with this. There are, let me put this into perspective for you guys. There are over 100 butterflies for us to find. So we are going to have our work cut out with us for that butterfly mod. That's why I wanted to get the, create the net early on so that we can just do it throughout the whole series. What are these? Black rose. Black roses. We have some more flowers. Awesome. So we're getting our flower collection up. But I'm going to go home. Let's go into a safe area over here. I think I'm going to go ahead and... Oh! Seriously, you guys are just coming out of nowhere. It's so dark in this forest. You know what? It'll be, it'll be good because we'll be getting a lot of experience. And if you guys have noticed, our experience bar is rainbow. So that's exciting. Um... All right, so I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here, guys. I know it's went by so quickly, but there is so much new content in here for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoy all the updates on the textures that we've done um, and the uh, remodel, not the remodeling, the work that I've done on the houses or on the house, this is um, all the butterflies and the new creatures that you guys saw. But um, if you guys did enjoy this episode, please be sure to give it a like. I would greatly appreciate that. And I hope you guys enjoyed a little more uh, storyline into what I actually am. A um, wood nymph, more specifically a dryad. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Cupcake, and I will see you all later. Bye!